the day. We this is the last day. It is Sunday at Origins, so it's always interesting. And um, we are flying out. I don't know, like eight or nine p.m. to nine. I'm going straight to work tomorrow, so that'll be fun. But um, we just packed up all our stuff, left it in Marion's hotel room, and I'm just gonna hang out at the convention all day. Maybe play some games, paint some mini, something like that. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a really fun one today. Over here, the uh, Games Workshop Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay space has been the weirdest of all. Like, le let me show you because it's just super weird. Okay, let me turn the camera around. This is pretty much like the event hall, pretty standard. And then you've got the fantasy gaming space, which is completely like it's just a cube that is completely walled in by this tarp. And it's just really strange because I've never once this entire convention seen anybody in this space at all. And so when you go into it, there's literally nobody. And there's a couple of signs here, but there's no, like you'd figure if, if Games Workshop was gonna rent this space to run events from, that they would at least have somebody here set up to talk about the game, even if, you know, nobody shows up to play it. It's, I mean, this space can't be cheap. It's gotta be several thousand dollars, so. No. The only thing I can think of is that they wanted more advertisement space and they couldn't get it outside. So they just bought this cube to put advertising around it, you know, and use that as a giant billboard and not use the space inside, which seems like a complete waste. But I... It's just... Games Workshop isn't running any official events here and they don't run any real official events at Gen Con, I don't think. And it seems weird for them to buy out this space and they would have a ton of volunteers if, if they wanted to run games for them. It's just weird that it's just a waste. great and better than Origins. Right? Maybe there's a tender. Two o'clock. I got a shirt. It's got sexy boys on it. I mean, I don't like him as much. I like this one. Look at him. It's camping boys. And they also had cowboys, but they didn't have it in my size. Let's talk about stuff. Like what? Hey Derek, what was your favorite part of Origins? Just seeing people. <coughs> it's see. nice to see people. I think probably my favorite part was when uh, we were chatting with Ken and he was saying nice stuff about me. Yeah, I, my favorite part of uh, Origins is also just hanging out with friends. I There wasn't many events this year that I wanted to try out. Um, the hobby events last year were a little disappointing. Um, they were kind of teaching things I'd already known about like miniatures and um, painting and stuff. So I didn't sign up for any of those this year. And we were too late to really register for any other events. So the, the games that I played were demos in the hall and 
and games with friends, which were really fun. Um, the demo hall, not the demo hall, but the exhibitor hall this year. I don't, I don't know if it's like this every year, but it feels smaller. It's actually bigger. It feels smaller. Okay, There's yeah. a lot of big companies that aren't here that I was expecting to see. Um, Privateer Press isn't here. Steamforged I didn't see. I didn't see um, AEG anywhere. I don't think uh, Privateer or AEG have had a booth here in a long time. It just feels smaller and usually when I go through the exhibitor halls at conventions of this size, I'm like, oh, I should go back to this booth. I really want to make sure I go to this booth. Here's things I'm interested in and I end up walking the hall several times and having to make decisions about what I want to get and buy and check out and I haven't had that here. Um, you know, I, I found this shirt and I bought it and I found these rings and I bought them. Yeah, the earrings. And the earrings and I bought those from my friend's booth. But there really isn't anything that I'm like, I don't know, so there's, I don't know, there was a little less excitement and I was expecting to just be like more wowed this year, like I am other years and I didn't see that. Um, this is a good show for me. Uh, I always like, uh, at, at this show I tend to hang out with my friends more, we go out for dinner more, it's a little more relaxed, it's a little more fun. Obviously uh, we have some work, but certainly not as much work as we have at Gen Con. Um, I don't know that there was much different this year. I mean, I tried a variety of different events I really liked. I really liked the tactical AR guns, which we'll have at Gen Con. And, um, I didn't try. We know what was nice this year was I didn't do anything that I didn't enjoy. The worst <laughs> event I had was a solid C+. So yeah. that was great. And we got into the speed painting uh, semifinals, which is really great. It doesn't happen every year. How did you do so, there was like a pro painter in the final, so it was yeah, hard to so beat. The, yeah, so he won, so it was a ringer, but I'm not bitter. So it was a good time overall. It was very mellow, it was fairly chill. Um, I was a little disappointed because I didn't get to hang out with as many people as I wanted to hang out, but that's always the balance. It's the isn't same, it? yeah, for me. There's like 10 people here I want to hang out, 12 people here. Yep. So it's never enough time, but there's always next year at Origins, right? And Chen Khan, soon. Everyone, Chen Khan. Everyone's coming. It's in like seven weeks. Yes, yes, about seven years, I should say. Hi. Hi. What's your name? My name's Jason. And Jason, why am I talking to you? Uh, we're here with Japanime Games, and we're demoing Tonto Kori and Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> They're cute little um, anime themed, well, like the art is all anime style, and it's super adorable. I have some of these at home, and um, they are crazy games. <laughs> I think that Tante, I like Tantikure because it is a not boring Dominion. And that's not to hate on Dominion, but it's generic fantasy, which is like, there's no theme really, but this one does have theme. Exactly. So and also, Heart of Crown is Dominion with a next step, is the way I like to describe it. Because once you build your deck, then you're trying to take a princess and get her coronated as the emperor. And so that. It's not just making the perfect deck. You are trying to do something after you get this great deck built. So it, it, I like that part of it. Yeah, it's a little meteor. Yes, exactly. Cool. Um, also, you watch my videos. Oh, I do. I love people that watch <laughs> my videos. Can I ask you one question? Please do. What do you like about my videos? What should I keep doing? What is it that you enjoyed about them? It's you're so bubbly and you... You know, it's always so great to see someone who's actually enjoying it and just real with it. So, awesome. Yeah. I appreciate that. Oh, no problem. Thank you so much. Thank you.